when it comes to home health care, it's not easy to come by, especially for families of children with special needs. Right, some living right here in East Tennessee have been searching for years and have a lot of trouble getting it approved through insurance. On your side tonight, reporter Ashley Sharp breaks down this issue. It's an ongoing problem for families of children with special needs searching for home health care. Oh, we've we've tried everything. It's just not available. It's not there. There's no caregivers. Ella Ray Arnold needs a home health caregiver to help her mother, Tracy Arnold, meet her many needs. Their insurance provider, TenCare, agrees they should have 30 hours of medical care per week. But because we can't find providers, TenCare wants to pass the buck and say, you know, we, we've approved it. It's not our fault that you can't find it. One of the growing issues, Ella Ray is growing. Her mother struggles to lift her in and out of her wheelchair. You know, I kind of feel like my daughter is less than, kind of not important because she does have a disability. Arnold says with no local caregivers available through 10 cares approved agencies, something has to change. If we could just get a stipend to pay our own provider $10, $15 an hour, we could, we could do that and we would be fine and we would have our needs met but that's not an option. 10 care representatives referred us to programs like the Katie Beckett waiver designed to help children with special needs, but for families like the Arnold family, it doesn't apply. We were told we just were disqualified because she already had 10 care. If you have a child that has a lot of health care needs, uh, it, it's almost impossible to get the care that they need. Michelle Johnson is the executive director of the Tennessee Justice Center, representing hundreds of families like the Arnolds in their fight for care. For families who already have enormous burden um, to have that sort of unpredictability and have like constantly have to fight for just ensuring that their kids aren't suffering, um, just ensuring that their kids are safe. It just isn't fair and we can do better. It's been a battle the Arnolds have fought for years. One of many families left waiting. People just feel like it's a lost cause. We need it, but we can't get it. In Johnson City, Ashley Sharp, WATE 6 on your side.